Hey guys, Mr. Malecki, and um, I want to post this so you can see it, um, since I, I'm not going to be able to be there Friday, uh, except for graduation, and Monday, because, well, the move has been, you know, as I told you, crazy. Alright, so, um, this is life in the, it's divided up by uh, decades, so life in the 50s, we've got GI Bill, Fair Deal, Wages, Suburbs, the Baby Boom, all of that we talked about, high prices, inflation, Truman, dynamic conservatism, Federal Highway Act, the interstate highway system, uh, women staying home, taking care of the children, television, rock and roll, generation gap, suburbs growing, African Americans staying in the inner cities. Okay, so that's all the 50s stuff, so make sure you look over that. As you can see, that's a majority of it. 60s, we've got poverty with President Johnson, a hippie, young person, government urban renewal projects, the Warren Court, the Great Society Plan, Medicare and Medicaid, healthcare for the poor and elderly, Great Society Plan, and a Great Society, how it criticized how it gave government too much control. So that's the 60s. Notice not as much. 70s, new federalism. Nixon's plan to give more power to states. Watergate scandal. There's going to be a couple questions on that. Nixon tried to cover up that break-in. Major consequence, limiting the power of the president. Uh, we had economic problems, raw materials going up, oil and inflation, manufacturing decline because of inefficient factories, and television change showing uh, women, single women, looking for a career instead of a family. Uh, more women were working than ever before, and the resource we were dependent on was foreign oil, of course. Life in the 80s, uh, drugs, alcohol, and AIDS, what a yuppie is, liberals, conservatives, make sure you know the difference, 33-34. Sunbelt growing. The Northeast became known as the Rust Belt because of all the problems there. Reaganomics, tax, massive tax cuts. Deregulation, government should interfere less in determining the price of oil and gas. Um, Reaganomics saw an increase in jobs and lower unemployment, and then discount retailing. Uh, computers ensured uh, economic growth. That's obviously important. And then, as you can see, there's only a few 90s questions. Persian Gulf War, Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, Operation Desert Storm, and Clinton being impeached because of the inappropriate relationship with Monica Lewinsky. All right, here's your essays. It says, analyze success or failure of one of the following. You've got Truman's Fair Deal, which is right here, Johnson's Great Society, Eisenhower's Dynamic Conservatism, and Reaganomics, okay? I said that Truman was kind of a failure, Johnson was mixed, uh, Eisenhower was mixed and Reagan was a success. And then describe the major changes in the American family. You've got lots to deal with. We talked about all of that through our units. All you have to do is pick one of those. So either you can talk about the presidents or you can talk about the family. I'd say the family one's probably easier. All right. Good luck, guys. I will see you back on Tuesday. I miss you. Work hard. Get stuff done. I will be grading. Bye.